Oh yeah. Got your cane for you, Brother Marshall. Made this one a little different since you're a knife maker. I wanted to give you something that was like an axe. It's a piece of blood wood <coughs> trapped in there. Oh yeah. Not only does that gonna add some strength, but uh, check out this ribbon if it'll focus. Oh, come on, baby. Come on, baby. Give me that. Give me that. I want to see it. Look at that ribbon. Yeah, baby. That's a gorgeous piece on edge. On the flat, it's okay. But this edge has this one ribbon on it, so I wanted to show that off to you. See, super tight lamination. Everything is really socked down. Two coats of CA glue rubbed down. Linseed oil, steel wool, linseed oil, steel wool, linseed oil. Yes, baby. Yeah, real nice select piece of mahogany here. And uh, as you can see, it's considerably longer than the one I made for my auntie who's only five foot <laughs> this baby's just about 36 inches and uh, if it's a half inch or something too long you can always trim it off right you got tools to do that just seal the end of it with some super glue you're good to go but this baby is for you sir I was honored honored that you asked me to make you a cane I'm hoping that this suits you. I got XL mitts myself, and I can wrap my whole hand around just the front of it if I wanted to. Get a choke up on it like that. I'm hoping it's comfortable to you. But that's a beauty in it. What a piece. What a piece. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate, I appreciate your uh, respect for my work, and of course I hold you in the highest regard. One of these days I'm going to have some steel from El Marshall. Yes, I will. But you can have some wood from RW right now, man. Thanks. Thanks a lot.